what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, visited the island of Puerto Rico for the first time since Hurricane Maria ravaged the island two whole weeks ago. People in Puerto Rico has been begging the U.S. for aid. They need food, they need water, they need medical supply. What does Donald Trump do while these people are pleading for help? These Americans are pleading for help. Well, he does nothing. Well, I take that back. He tweets. He tweets insults at the mayor of Puerto Rico. Called her an ingrate. Yeah. Can you imagine that? An ingrate calling somebody an ingrate. Yeah. So these are the points that were made. These are the takeaways from his visit to Puerto Rico. He asked the governor about the death count. He compared thousands of people who died in Hurricane Katrina to the 16 people who died in Puerto Rico. Now, he also said this, I hate to tell you Puerto Rico, but you've thrown our budget a little out of whack. And he said this with a grin. Now, he did a whole lot of ass kissing to the governor of Puerto Rico because the governor has been singing his praises. You know, the governor is a professional ass kisser. So he's been singing his praises. That's the only time Trump really agrees with anybody. You know, that, he's a narcissist. So he's not going to really care about what you have to say unless you're kissing his ass. He used that trip as a backdrop to sing his own praises. He just went out there basically and patted himself on the back, bragging on himself and his administration's response to Hurricane Maria, talking about how they've done so much to aid Puerto Rico. So basically, this whole trip was a PR trip for him. And it was really like a cover for him to go ahead on and do what he really wanted to do, go to Vegas and check on his property. He got a property out there. So he wanted to go check on his property, make sure there ain't no bullet wound in the structures. He, didn't, he don't have any intent on helping Puerto Rico. He's not interested in the people of Puerto Rico because they're not white. Hey, I'm just telling you what it is, man. I know you don't like it. You know what? I take that back. You like it, but you don't like anybody saying it out loud. Yeah, you don't like that. But that's what it is. That's why he didn't go to Puerto Rico. If Puerto Rico was Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, Texas, Man, he'd have been out there just like that. Just like he's on his way to Vegas. And the reason why he's going to Vegas is twofold. One, he's going to Vegas to check on his property. And two, he's going to check on his constituents. See, that was a country western festival. A lot of those people that was at that festival voted for him. A lot of those people at that festival were card-carrying, Confederate flag-waving, good old U.S. citizens. Now, here's the thing. What you can't do is make a sweeping 
generalization about the people who was there just because they are country western fans now like i say i can say i can't go out on a limb and say a great deal of them did vote for him and they are confederate flag waivers but not all because you see yours truly is a huge country western fan and i would never wave a flag uh, Confederate flag. So, and I didn't vote for Donald Trump. I despise him. I despise him. Lord, Lord knows I despise him. So, this is why you got to be careful with making sweeping generalizations about whole groups of people. But getting back, that's why he's in such a rush to go down there. Man, some of his clan uh, buddies might even have been at that festival. He got to go check on them. They'll probably have a little private clan rally at his hotel while he's out there. They probably do some type of special clan memorial, something like that. I wouldn't put it past him. And Adolf Twitler's address to the United States in the aftermath of the shooting in Vegas, he said that our unity cannot be shattered by evil. That's a lie. Donald Trump, you are evil. And our unity has been shattered by you. You are the number one culprit. You are the worst. You are what's wrong with America. Your whole hustle is division. So what the hell are you talking about, unity? Who are you fooling with all of these words? Just, they're just words. Whatever he's reading from that teleprompter, you can always tell he's not being sincere. When he's not reading from that teleprompter, that's him. That's when he's really coming from the heart. That's when he really means what he's saying. He sounds so fake anytime he reads from that teleprompter because somebody else wrote the words for him. He loves saying things like tremendous. These are his words. He loves using words like this. Tremendous. It's going to be tremendous. It's amazing. It's great. Fantastic. Can't even string a coherent sentence together. That's him. Then he had Melania on that trip with him. He always taking her around to the disaster areas. You know why you do that? Because you're trying to make sure the Secret Service don't service her while he's away. <laughs> yeah, true story. I'm telling you, man. Donald Trump is fake. He's always been fake. Make America great again. You're right. First and foremost, America will never be great until it stops gerrymandering its electoral system. We're dealing with an orange clown here, y'all. The circus is in town and the clown is doing what he does best. Nothing. No more talk. What the lady's is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.